Thunder! 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 Thundercats! Ho! Bottom X fans, this is Scorp1701, and tonight we are going to be taking a look at the Super 7 Ultimate. No, no, not Ultimate. This is the brand new line of Super 7 figures that they are calling Deluxe. Yes, this is the Super 7 Thundercats Deluxe lion -O that has just been released to Target stores. And this is something new that Super 7 is trying with their figures. The Deluxe series is going to offer the same great figure, but with less packaging and less accessories. So I'm not sure if I would call it Deluxe as much as I would call it Basics, because there's not going to be a lot to look at with lion -O here. But he is a brand new sculpt and mold, and I can't wait to take a look at it. So let's jump into this awesome some new offerings from Super 7. Starting off, taking a look at the packaging, it is on a nice blister card. Up at the top, you have DX for Deluxe, 14 plus. You have Super 7. You have the awesome Thundercats logo there. You can see lion -O in the packaging with his claw shield and the Sword of Omens. You have an awesome Thundercat symbol there with lion -O Deluxe action figure. On the side of the box, you just have DX for Deluxe. On the other side, you have DX Deluxe again. Coming to the bottom of the packaging, you do have some credits for the box and a barcode and finally coming to the back of the blister card you have that beautiful picture of the Thundercats and this is from the end of the cartoon and we used to get this on the back of the Super 7 Ultimates boxes but they changed it up but here it is it's still beautiful you have DX Deluxe at the top with Super 7 again and you can see Cat Slayer and Mumra and you can see all of the Thundercats except for Wily Kit for some reason and that is going to be it for the packaging of this brand new Deluxe Lino but I don't want to see this this new figure in the box and I know you don't so let's get him out then let this Thundercat loose and here we have Lionel out of the packaging and out of the packaging he stands approximately seven and a quarter inches tall and he comes with his claw shield and the sword of omens like we saw before and we'll take a look at those in just a moment but first off I want to take a closer look at the Lord of the Thundercats himself and coming real close in on Lionel's head sculpt. Now this is a very nicely done head sculpt. You can see he has that nice windswept hair coming over here to the left side of his head. There is a little bit of molded detail going around the top of his head. So you can see that there's little hairs moving around. And that is pretty cool. You do have a weird little line right here coming down. And that's some sort of manufacturing mark. There is also another one if we take a look at the back of the figure right here and that doesn't really bother me that much it's just one of those things that you're gonna get when you have toys and designs and stuff like that so coming back around to the front take a look at his face now this is a very nicely done face for the most part you have this skin tone but around the eyes and the mouth you have the lighter color which is great i love that the eyebrows are very sharp and come up in points and then they come down you have some red eyes in there the eyes are nicely done i like that some nice mouth and sculpted details in the neck coming out from the head sculpt to the chest and the upper torso that is very nice Lionel is wearing his classic blue tunic and you have a light blue for the inside and it's trimmed in some darker blue I like that do got a little bit of paint smudge right here on the top the skin color comes all the way down to his arms and then his abdomen and then when you get to the forearms you have the lighter color again so that is accurate coming to his belt you got the nice blue belt trimmed in white beautiful thundercat symbol there very clean little 
spots on the side are a little smudgy with the blue paint, but eh, it's okay. These are going to be really small areas to get to. Comes down to some nice blue trunks and some light fleshy legs, which is okay. Coming down, you do have blue boots with the white trim and coming to the bottom of the feet you do have some peg holes and some copyright material that's cool and that's pretty much going to be how he looks taking a look at the back of the costume nothing that you would not expect i did get a little bit of paint scrape right here and I believe that is due to the fact that it was kind of stuck together. And when I started moving this upper torso section, it broke loose. And there you just have that little paint scrape. And that's pretty much it for what your lino is going to look like. Very nice. Very cartoon accurate. Maybe the main skin tone could be a little darker. But for the most part, I like it. I think he looks really good. All right. Moving on. And for our articulation, starting at the head, the head can go around 360 degrees. It can wiggle waggle left and right. It can kind of look down a little bit. It can kind of look up a little bit. And that is pretty cool. Coming to the shoulders. Shoulders can come up from the body. They got a nice click to them. And then they can go around 360 degrees. You do have a nice bicep rotation, 360 degrees there. Coming down to your elbow bend. And the elbow bend is eh, kind of stuck between this large bicep. So you're not going to get exactly 90 degrees, just short, but that's okay. The forearm is built into the elbow joint so that will give you 360 degrees rotation there that is cool coming down to your hand the hand can go around 360 degrees and this one is hinged at the top of the thumb here so it can kind of hinge up and it can kind of hinge down which is good when he has his sword in his hand so that is cool coming to the center of the body you do have an upper diaphragm rotation 360 degrees there and that is neat followed by a waist articulation 360 degrees there as well and you do get wiggly waggly in the midsection the ab crunch so that is really cool a lot of good motion in this fellow's center coming to the legs legs can come up just a little bit not too much the back not so much because the butt gets in the way out to the side mm, not really not and you do get a couple of clicks of thigh rotation but for some reason it looks like the legs are having trouble staying in these middle sections because they may the midsection or the short section could be cut a little big for them i'm not sure what that's about but anyway coming down to your knee bend you do have a knee bend it's slight but it is there and that is built into a lower leg rotation 360 degrees there and that will bring you down to the foot and the foot can bend down and it can bend up a little bit and you got rock joint left and right i don't want to go all the way around the world with it because i'm starting to not do that after i broke my carnage legs but anyway i'm happy with the left and the right of the ankle articulation so that is going to be lionel's articulation a lot of good stuff i especially like this chest section and great movement there all right moving on and for Lionel's accessories, starting off, he comes with the Mystic Sword of Omens and it's in its extended form. And he has the Thundercat logo here in the center where the Eye of Thundera is. And it is nicely done. And we've got this sculpted and molded sword before. It is basically done in a gray plastic. And the only color you have is the Thundercat logo. But that is a really nice and clean logo. And to bring out some components, comparisons the original super 7 ultimate lino is here and the thundercat symbol as you can see was done very poorly it didn't even have the details of the eye and the ear and the jaw it was just a basic outline but you did have a little bit of blue coloring and paint in the hilt and that is all right the next sort of omens came with jaga here 
and then you had the nice Thundercat logo and the blue was still there in the hilt and finally with the lion -O we got the uh, mirror lion -O. we had the nice silver sword with the Thundercat symbol and still a little paint in the hilt but when it comes to the deluxe lion -O sword I don't have a problem with this gray and it not being painted in the hilt as long as the Thundercat symbol was there and it's nice and clean I think this is a great looking sword and he could hold this and swing it around and call for the Thundercats and fight whoever he needs to fight so yeah like the sword, not too broken up that there's no paint on the hilt. Nothing that bothers me. Alright. And Lionel's final accessory is his claw shield. And this is very nicely done. I believe it is remolded from the original. It's done in a nice gold paint. You do have your three knuckle joints up there that are also done in gold, black, and red. And the claws are done in a silver. That is very nice. Got a little bit of detail here underneath the palm. And the inside of the glove is basically just hollow. And if we were to take a look at one of the other gloves that came with the Super 7 Ultimate Lion-O, we could see that the new glove is really a lot smaller than this one here and I don't know they could just been trying to save on materials but you know that's okay I guess so if we were to bring out lion -O and move the camera back just a little bit the glove which is sculpted to go onto his left hand can be placed on by removing his fist and just shoving it up into his forearm and that's okay i mean it fits nicely i don't think it's going to come off and you could play and pose him like that and that is really cool now the original glove that came with lion -O had a little peg in it that would go into his forearm and i guess you could still do that with these older gloves um well actually i think the peg may be too big to go into that slightly smaller drilled out hole so yeah that's not gonna work and another interesting thing is when it comes to the claw shield it's odd that this was not designed and molded with a hook type section that would peg onto Lionel's belt here I mean you got the peg there for this to kind of go on to but I don't think this will go on because now I think that's too big for the sculpted hole in this so I don't know you got a peg here that really has no purpose now because there is nothing that could hook to it and I don't know that's okay I mean you just got to figure out maybe later they'll give us something else that can hook there but for what this is I think it looks good on Lionel's hand and uh, it's a neat little way to do it and save on a little bit of sculpting for the inside of the glove all right and that is going to be Lionel's accessories moving on and now for the moment everyone's been waiting for the comparison between the new deluxe lion -O and the original ultimate lion -O. so as you can see there is a large difference between the new sculpt and mold of the deluxe compared to the original super 7 or matty collector if you really want to go way far back uh taking a look at the basics the head sculpt is very cartoon accurate here on the left for the deluxe as opposed to the original ultimate lino but the ultimate lino looks more realistic you have the more detailed in the hair and the wash in there but i love this hairstyle i love this head uh the skin tone for the most part throughout the ultimate lino is just going to be darker and the lighter skinned of the deluxe makes it look more cartoony in my opinion you still have the color differential under the eyes for both of them and the mouth for both of them the proportions on the deluxe seem to be a little better in my opinion than the ultimates uh, the legs seem a little longer the boots are a little less i mean the 
Deluxe seems a little taller and skinnier as opposed to the big beefier Ultimates. The chest design, a lot different. You have a more of a matte finish paint job here, whereas this is glossy on the Ultimates. And then you have your ab crunch section here with the cuts, whereas this is smooth. So that is a big difference. And then coming to the sides of the figures, you can see the pinless joints as opposed to the pen joints and the sculpted detail obviously on this lino the arms are a little smaller and that could account for the smaller claw shield and then the boots so coming around to the back of both figures and then back to the front so yeah, I can see a big difference in the new sculpt and mold, and I really like it. I said in a previous Thundercats video that Super 7 should give us a newly updated Lion-O, and here he is. And I believe this is also going to be the same sculpt and mold that they're going to release with the glowing eyes, which I was going to order, but then I looked at it and I wasn't sure if the eyes were normal or if they were just plain yellow and you couldn't get a normal eye. So this was perfect for me because I wanted the normal eyes as opposed to the light up eyes. I mean, it's cool function, but still this basic lion -O is great. And comparing the two by themselves, I really like the new deluxe lion -O. Very cartoony as opposed to the more realistic artistic looking lion -O here. But like I said, that is in comparing them to each other. Now let's compare the Deluxe with some other Thundercats and see how he measures up with them. And here you have the Deluxe lion -O with the Ultimates Thundercats. And I don't think this looks that bad. I think Lino fits right at home in here. Even though he's updated from the original, he has different proportions. I think all of the Thundercats had slightly different proportions. And my main concern was that he was going to look too cartoony with the others but I really don't see that being an issue here. Now that's just going to be my sensibilities. Yours may differ when you have him in your collection and your perspective but for me I think this is good and if I got a choice of additional figures that could be updated for the deluxe line I would really like to see a new Tigra I'd really like to see a new Pumara, which would be slightly smaller, not the same height as Shatara. And that's pretty much it. I think everything else looks really good, and this is a cool looking set. But we should also see what he looks like with the bad guys. And comparing the new Lion O with the mutants, they all look really big compared to him. And I guess that's good because you should have a little bit of disadvantage when you're trying to go up against your enemy so that the hero could overcome. But jeez, Mumra is like huge. Of course, he's always been huge when it comes to Lion O here. The deluxe Lion O is definitely different, but I don't think it's anything bad. All right. And for a final comparison, here you have the Deluxe lion -O with the Ghost Jaga. And they look really great together. I like this. Still wish I would have bought more than one of these Ghost Jagas because I have to get this one in and out of the box every time I want to compare him with the other Thundercats. So that's kind of a hassle. <laughs> but anyway, it was worth it because this looks great. All right. And that is going to be your comparisons. Moving on. And this has been the Super 7 Thundercats Deluxe lion -O, The brand new line from Super 7 hitting your shelves right now. And I am very happy with this figure. It's not perfect, but I believe it is a satisfactory update from the Super 7 Ultimates lion -O that we've had for the last few years. This is a great sculpt and molded figure. Looks exactly like he did from the cartoon. His paint is a little off in places. 
I did go back and find that the smudge I had up here was something that was able to just be washed off and it looks great now. But there are still going to be minor blemishes on the figure, but there was minor blemishes on the Ultimates figures as well. When you try to paint small little details, you're going to get offline every now and then. But for the most part, I love the way this thing looks. The articulation is good, but that being said about the articulation, when it comes to my particular copy of the figure, my right forearm right here will always pop off. And I don't know if it's because the joint is too loose or there's too much pressure on it because my left arm is fine it's just this one pops off so hopefully it's just my copy and it's not a flaw across the board but you can get it back on and he still looks great but I would have been remiss if I didn't mention that on my copy I have a bad right forearm his accessories were fine. The Sword of Omens is a must-have for Lion Oath. I didn't mind that there wasn't any paint on the Sword of Omens' hilt. I think it looks fine in his hand right there. Claw Shield, again, a must-have. I would have added to this perhaps another set of hands a adapter for the Claw Shield that would attach to the belt on this peg and a small version of the Sword of Omens. If you threw in those additional things, I think it would have been more of a deluxe than what we have here. Like I said in the very beginning, I think they should have called this line Super 7 Basics because this is just your basic lion -O. You got lion and two accessories. I think Monkey and he has one accessory. So to me, deluxe would seem like it would have a few more accessories and this would just be a basic. But that's not what they gave us and we have to deal with what they gave us so that is going to be it for this figure if you're looking for him he is on the shelves at target right now for 35 dollars i pre-ordered mine online at the target geek out but i found this one in the store so i canceled my pre-order and picked this one up instead because i have no patience <laughs> but anyway if you're looking for this figure happy hunting and that's it, guys. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great night, and until next time, keep playing.